Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mahmood here. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to simplify algebraic fractions by factorizing. Prior to this video, I would highly recommend you watch the factorizing quadratics and simplifying fractions video. It will help you understand this lesson much better. So let's go ahead and have a look at these two examples. On the first one, we have x squared plus 9x plus 20 over 7x plus 35. Now, first of all, we are going to factorize it. Now we can see it's a quadratic expression and it is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So we can go ahead and factorize using product and sum. So we can see the product is 20. So two numbers multiplied together gives me 20. And when you add those two numbers together, gives me 9, which are 4 and 5. So I can go ahead and put these in brackets. So x plus 4 and x plus 5. 7x plus 35, I can see I have common factor is 7. No other common terms. So we're going to put x plus 5 in brackets. Now we can see x plus 5 and at the numerator and x plus 5 on the denominator. So we can cancel them out. We can divide by x plus 5, the numerator and the denominator. And that will leave us with the answer x plus 4 divided by 7. Now, when you're simplifying algebraic fractions, usually there are expressions or terms that you can cancel out. If not, I would always recommend go back and check your answer. Check your factorization, see if you made any mistake on those. Let's have a look at the second example. So we have x squared minus 49. So we can see 49 is a square number. So we have difference of 2 squared. So 49 can be written as 7 squared. So we can write x squared minus 49 as x plus 7 multiplied by x minus 7. And if you factorize x squared minus 5x minus 14, we have x minus 7 and then x plus 2. When you factorize quadratics, always double check your answers. Double check that minus 7 and plus 2 gives me the sum, and minus 7 times by 2 gives me minus 14, and it does. Now we can see we have x plus 7, and x minus 7 on the top, and x minus 7, x plus 2 on the numerator, so we can cancel out x minus 7, and that will leave us with x plus 7 over x plus two and that's our final answer here are three more examples at the end of the video you will have some practice questions on factorizing while well, simplifying algebraic fractions by factorizing so please do have a go at those so let's have a look at these three examples so we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 so we can factorize it by 3 and 2 in brackets so x plus 3 and x plus 2 and we have x plus 3 in the denominator so we can cancel out x plus 3 and x plus 3 that will leave us with x plus 2 and that's the answer the second example we can see we have a difference of two squares so we can write here 36 as 6 squared so that will give us x plus 6 brackets x minus 6 and if you factorize x squared minus 3x minus 18 that will give us x minus 6 and x plus 3. We can cancel out x minus 6 and that will leave us with x plus 6 on the top and x plus 3 at the bottom. And that's our answer. Example number 3. We can see we have a quadratic expression with a coefficient. If you haven't watched the uh, factorizing quadratics, with coefficients, please do check it out. It will help you with this question as well. So let's factorize the top part first. So we have x minus 5 and x plus 3. x minus 5 and x plus 3 at the top. Just double check, minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. It is, and the sum. And minus 5 times by plus 3 is minus 15. Yes, that's absolutely fine. And then on the numerator, we have x plus 3 and then we have 2x plus 1. 
Okay, so now we can see x plus 3 we can cancel out and we'll be left with x minus 5 over 2x plus 1. And that's the final answer. Here are some practice questions for you to try. Pause the video and have a go at them. And once you finish, press play and I will put the answers here for you to mark. By the way, also give it a like if you think this video helped you and also don't forget to subscribe. I'm uploading video every week, so please do subscribe and keep up to date with these maths videos. Okay, I hope you had a good go at these questions. So let's go ahead and answer these practice questions on simplifying algebraic fractions by factorizing. So at the top we have, if you factorize that, that will give us a plus two and a minus five. And on the denominator we have difference of two squared. So a plus 2 times by a minus 2. You can see a plus 2 can cancel out. So we'll be left, left with a minus 5 over a minus 2. Question number 2. Let's go ahead and factorize the denominator. So we have 4 as a product and sum is 5. So we can think of it as 4 and 1. 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 add 1 is 5 so x plus 4 and x plus 1 on the numerator we have minus 20 and minus 1 as a sum so minus 5 times 4 that will work so x minus 5 and x plus 4 x plus 4 x plus 4 can cancel it out and then we have x minus 5 over x plus 1. Question number 3, we can see we have a coefficient. So let's go ahead and factorize that. So that will give us 2x, so x minus 5 and 2x plus 1. And 2x plus 1 over, you can see 2x squared is common. That will give us x plus, just double check that one, 2x, so we'll have 2x here, because 4x cubed, we've taken out 2x squared, so 2x, so 4x cubed divided by 2x squared is 2x plus 1. Just realized our the main mistake, because I can see 2x plus 1 on the top, so I need something similar, either x minus 5 or 2x plus 1, so I can cancel them out to simplify it. So there's a good hint for you there. So divide, divide 2x plus 1 by 2x plus 1, so they both cancel out. And we'll be left with x minus 5 over 2x squared. And that's the answer. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. And in the next video, we're going to look at adding and subtracting algebraic fractions. And then we're going to look at multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions. See you in the next video. Mr. Mahmood, helping you do better in maths.